We haven't heard much from Apple since the beginning of the AI saga, but they recently announced something really, really interesting. And they have indicated that they will be entering the AI race with the Quartz. Apple has been responsible for some of the interesting innovations over the years. Committed to maintaining high quality and good consumer experience, they already have a really interesting number of users. As we see here, the total sales of Apple's 2022 sales amounted to $394.33 billion. This is totally insane, and it is profits from the wide range of products they have in the market. In 2021, the company was valued to be worth well over $2 trillion, making them the most valuable tech company in the world. It was just a matter of time before they joined the AI race. And with their kind of reputation, we keep our fingers crossed to see what they have in stock. They've already started with the announcement of Quartz, and we know that it can only get better from here. Apple is really tapping from the vast spread that they already have when it comes to the widespread use of their hardware in this new development. Quartz is basically a health assistant that is designed to work in line with other Apple wearables and mobile devices to help users keep track of their health and also help with improvements. Quartz takes data from the Apple Watch, such as your heart rate, sleep patterns, blood pressure, and other trackable activities, and forms a routine for you based on this. So basically, Quartz is designed to help users improve their overall health and adopt better lifestyles. What is interesting here is that instead of creating a program that will demand scouting for new users and getting them to use the program, Apple is starting up with what they already have. They can just have access to millions of users by rolling out a new upgrade for their device software. That is really clever and we wait to see how this works out for Apple. The word on the street is that Apple is working on integrating other AI programs that will be able to track emotions. Now this is great for people who will like to seek help for emotional imbalances. This will really help keep tabs on when these imbalances surface and possible triggers. Compared to the crazy advancements we've seen from OpenAI, Google and Microsoft, this move by Apple right now might not seem like much. But downplaying this right now might not be as clever as there have been some really interesting new developments as we see here from TechCrunch. The overall information here is that Apple has started showing signs that they will be keying fully into the AI race. This is backed by the appearance of job openings that border around getting experts in generative AI. As seen on the Cupertino Company career page, Apple has at least more than a dozen job ads that are looking for machine learning experts who are quote, passionate about building extraordinary autonomous systems. These positions started appearing around April and with the developer-focused WWDC event that is coming up by June being hosted by Apple, we look forward to what they might be bringing to the table in terms of generative AI. No doubt we will be seeing some interesting and possibly novel stuff. This is expected as Apple often tends to take a different route in its innovations and has been a major selling point of this company for years. Nothing different is expected at this point. We have a hint here as to what we will be expecting from Apple in the coming days, though there's no certainty on this yet as the company is not so open at the moment about its direction. From TechCrunch, we see here that the roles available in the company are directed toward creating visual generative AI models. It reads here, some of the roles focus specifically on visual generative AI applications for machine learning experts to work on visual generative modeling to power applications across computation photography, image and video editing, 3D shape and motion reconstruction and avatar generation. This very much seems like Apple is targeting the area that most companies are still struggling with. The focus has been on the development of large language models for many, though some have managed to integrate the visual features and are doing amazing things. For example, Google's Dreamix has shown some really, really amazing features and has been able to animate still images. The area that still seems to have a lot of gaps to be filled is that which will enable the generation of images from text directly. We have seen some going in this direction already, but these still seem to be in the developmental stages. However, all these about Apple's moves are just speculations and there has been no official statement from the company stating what their goals are. Before now, Apple has been making some little moves for years into the AI industry with Siri. This has been entry level as the capabilities of the assistant are mostly related to performing basic tasks such as setting reminders and other basic functions. However, there is room for Apple to exploit this already existing resource, and we hear that they are already doing so, especially now already that they have serious rivals like Alexa and Google Assistant. Many think that the integration of large language models such as ChatGPT into Siri will help improve its natural language capabilities. 
This will make Apple's feature much more helpful than it is at the moment. Now, what remains to be seen is whether Apple will be partnering with any of these companies that have developed their language models reasonably, or if they will be rolling out their own large language model. Among these options, I think many will agree that the latter is the most likely step for this tech giant, judging by their reputation. And make no mistake, Apple has enormous resources at its disposal, both in terms of finance and talent required to make a mark in this AI race. They've been known for unique approaches, and this has been the major attraction for their large consumer base formed over the years. We hope that Apple does something really interesting with Siri and other products that they already have. Also, another area that we are looking forward to for Apple to integrate its AI model is the automotive industry. Though no one can provide any verified information on this project that is rumored to be Apple's entry into the automotive industry, we know that the Project Titan has been making waves since 2014, with different dates anticipated for its debut which never held. If eventually Apple is looking to get into this industry, the integration of modern AI technologies will help it stay ahead of the stiff competition that we are already witnessing with the EVs. Whichever company is entering this industry will have to contend with companies such as Tesla, which has really made a mark and has taken the development to a whole different level. With Apple's vast resources, they will have to look into advanced object detection technologies and even advanced AI decision-making capabilities. There has been caution in the introduction of fully autonomous vehicles, as we have not seen fully autonomous vehicles on the streets yet. Companies like Tesla still require human involvement to a large extent while running their vehicles. An integration of superior autonomous features, of course with the safety of passengers fully considered, Apple has a real chance to come out at the top of the game when they finally decide to come in fully. Adopting a more user-friendly interface and simple means of interaction between drivers and their vehicles, Apple will be able to draw the required attention to its product. Apple has been making some interesting moves that indicate that they have been committed to investing fully in the AI landscape. This includes the move to purchase some leading AI companies such as Shazam and Wave 1, which we think rings a bell for interesting times ahead for the AI race. We have just seen what the beginning of the AI race is like, and it has been most thrilling. With the entry of big tech companies like Apple, we are surely going to see more insane advancements and optimizations on existing technologies. Before now, Apple has been showing a very strong commitment to the development of machine learning. And aside the features that you see in their devices, such as face recognition, Apple has been able to roll out FaceLit. This is basically a face recognition software that enables you to create a 3D rendering of faces using a couple images of the face. This is something that will really, really be instrumental in photo editing and will make a reasonable mark in the movie industry too. Apple has been known to be very secretive about what their intentions are, and this is what we are seeing here also with regard to their entrance into the AI race. Tim Cook, Apple's CEO, has during the Q2 earnings call expressed the commitment of the company to generative artificial intelligence and that the company will continue to invest towards that. There was no explicit information as to what we will be expecting. Reports show that they are making moves with the training of the Apple Voice Assistant Siri on more natural language models. And with the WWDC coming up real soon this June, we keep our eyes on Apple for what they might be bringing out to the public. As seen here from the information on TechCrunch, there has been a clampdown on the use of rival AI programs for Apple employees. As this is not strange for different tech companies, it might also be a sign that Apple might be working on something that they really want to keep in-house pending the release. Whatever it might be, no doubt it will be worth the wait. Do give us a like on this video and also hit the subscribe button so that we will keep you in touch with this and other emerging tech trends as they come. We'll see you in the next episode.